<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to day five of discovering your emotions with essential oils. On this last and final day in this series, I wanted to find an oil that spoke to nourishing the soul. And it is my belief and my experience that all of the oils that we've um, talked about and discovered this week, they all nourish our soul because they nourish our emotions and they're supportive and loving and uh, deeply restorative in many, many ways. But there's one oil that I've worked with and journeyed with frequently throughout my time <clears throat> since discovering the essential oils, and that is coriander seed. And coriander seed is, to me, one of the most important oils that we can use on our journey to self-discovery and to move our mentality from places where we don't think we are worthy, where we don't think we can do it, when we feel less than and not enough. Coriander seed is the panacea for these places where we feel lack, lack of love, lack of effort, lack of time, lack of um, care, lack, lack of um, money. These are all interwoven. They all speak to the same thing. They all have the same energetic quality, which is a feeling of something is missing. Something isn't quite right. Something's not working. Um, and when we come from that place, I, in fact, I was listening to a meditation, um, a, um, an audio today from the Gene Keys, which is Gene Keys 35, which talks about hunger. And this speaks to this same idea that we are, when we feel empty, when we feel then there's something missing, something lacking within us, then we look to the outside because that's what society's taught us is we look to the outside to fill this void. We look to our surroundings, our society, the people, places and things it'll be the most perfect solution, the most perfect thing for you um, when you find it. There might be money. And we talked a little bit about this in our video yesterday. It might be money. It might be drugs. It might be alcohol. It might be sex. It might be all sorts of things it could be. And you'll find something that momentarily fills you up. And it's a sort of numbing because what we're, what this lack feeling is, bringing up in us is a sense of unease. There's something that's going on that's talking to us. We're not trying to feel something from a place of uh, fullness. And there's uh, this uneasy feeling that there's something that's not right. Something is missing, something is wrong. So we look to our relationships, we look to our substances, we look to all of these things around us to see if that's the missing piece because there is a, an innate desire within the soul that wants to be healed and whole. It's a pure, pure desire in all of us that wants to be cared for, nurtured and loved. And as children, we have this intrinsic, this uh, very basic need and desire that happens the moment we are born that says, I need love, I need care, I need nurture, I need my needs to be met. And we carry this as a, as a almost it develops into a pathology. As, as we develop, we know that there's something missing, that our need wasn't met in some way. And this is the, the core the core idea of what feeds into the lack mentality, the, the codependent relationship where you're in this push me, pull you kind of, you must give me what I need to be happy and vice versa. Uh, it feeds into um, not enough love, not enough time. It's all, almost like this grabbing feeling. I need something to make me feel better. And it can look greedy from the outside. It can 
creates such feelings of guilt and shame on the inside. It can make us feel that um, we should be shamed for having this desire because on some level, we know that these behaviors are out of balance. But at a, we forget it's the purest, most uh, unadulterated, like the essence of us knows love and wants love. And from this moment, this place, everything else develops, everything else births itself from that place, which is beautiful because this is where we're going to be putting coriander seed today which is in cv6 which is inside the belly button and inside the belly button is the most tender place so make sure that you use it diluted and i want you to think about placing it with care with intention with love and affection and we use coriander seed, which is the deepest nourishment, helps with all feelings of lack, all feelings of not enoughness, all feelings of needing something to fill us. And it works beautifully with helichrysum, which is the oil that I use the most for trauma, heli meaning sun. It's like using the light of a thousand suns when you use the power of helichrysum and the, the gentleness and the depth of coriander seed together. It's this incredible union. I always use uh, helichrysum on my heart chakra on the CV. Uh, I've just forgotten what it was now. <laughs> um, and I place it here. And I allow myself to let the oil unwind. I allow myself to receive. I allow myself to receive what these oils naturally want to give. There's no toxicity in the relationship between these oils because it is pure. The oils have something to give and we receive from a place of knowingness that there is this beautiful interaction and union between us and these oils. <clears throat> Untangling ourselves from these types of mindsets. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a croak in my throat today. Untangling ourselves from these mindsets takes time. And we want to get to the end point as quickly as possible, especially for abundance mentality, because we believe that to have more money equals more fulfillment, more happiness, more positivity, um, more success, more recognition. But it's that old adage, like this is true. I'm not teaching, I'm not sharing, I'm not uh, talking about anything new here. It is the journey that counts. It's not the end point. And what we learn about ourselves, what we learn about the beauty and the, the magnificence of our spirit and <clears throat> of the spirit around us using these oils is, is a journey in itself, is the end point in itself. Because as this relationship develops, we start to feel the wholeness returning, we start to feel the healing returning into our cells and into our soul. And we start to remember that all that we've ever needed was already resourced within us. And that is such a challenging thought when we have any connection to um, a lack mentality, which I've got many different types of that within me that I'm I'm journeying with right and every person that I know has um <clears throat> excuse me every single person I know has some sort of relationship with that even the most wealthy 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 people I I know that there was a woman who told me a story today who had 
the wealthiest um, of parents and they would reuse their tea bag three times to make sure there was no waste. Now I'm a fan of no waste, absolutely. But it's that mindset that says I have millions and yet my relationship to abundance, to fulfillment, to connection to the, the magnificence around me is so restricted that this relationship starts to show in our everyday life. So I want you to grab your coriander seed and have a little smell. Sit with it for a while and see what comes up for you, see how you feel, see what sensations arise in you. But I want you to most of all lie down lie down and put coriander seed on your finger like we've done before place it inside gently inside your belly button and just lie uh, with this experience and see what happens with coriander seed see what messages come up for you see allow just allow it to unfold allow it to happen allow it to be and like I've said in the other videos, over time, you will start to see and feel. And this is what it's about, really, isn't it? The, these feelings that we have that are so intense, we need quick fixes. And that's where these maladaptive responses and behaviors come in. But what we're going to do actually is allow the, these allies to build up within us the connection to build up, the trust to build up, the resonance to build up. And that takes time, just like a really delicious slow cooked meal or the most beautiful friendship that develops over years and years. This is the same thing with these oils. If there was one thing that I could encourage you today to do is to practice being in ceremony with yourself. Practice nourishing your heart, practice nourishing your soul, learn what feels good for you that doesn't involve a quick fix or a numbing. What does it feel like for you to sit or to run or to do yoga or to have a cup of tea in mindfulness? There's a, some awesome podcast with a, a Buddhist monk who is a tea meditation specialist called Wuda, that's W-U-D-E, and he's on the Rich Roll podcast. He's a, I'm a big fan. And the way he explains how we sit in ceremony with our tea is how we sit in ceremony with ourselves. And we watch the tea buds and the tea leaves unfurl. We watch them as the water alchemizes them. And in their own time and when they're ready, they open up and they bud and they bloom. The, we can see so much resonance with the earth around us, the, the tea leaves, the trees, the seeds, the flowers, they all in their own time, in the right conditions, they bloom and they blossom and we nourish them, we tend to them, we allow them their space. So I'd like you to explore that. And do leave a comment. Let me know how you're getting on. Let me know what's been the most useful and profound or <clears throat> um, enlightening or interesting that you found over the last five days. And remember, you can use these with, for those of you who are uh, practitioners who work with other people, you can use these uh, with your clients too. Uh, and you might, when it comes to using coriander seed in the belly button, you may actually want to um, ask them to do that for themselves. It's a very intimate thing, um, or at least definitely ask for permission to do that. But these are all things that you can incorporate um, in your ceremonies, in your connections with your clients, in the way that you uh, evolve the relationship and help people come out of their heads and back into their hearts and into their bodies. In the meantime, uh, 
take care and please do check out my other courses on the Flourishing Foundations Academy on Teachable and have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Thank you for watching.